hello church and greetings from our new home in Missouri City. I was raised in Houston and I used to tell people that I was raised in a two religion home, uh, Southern Baptist and Texas football. Uh, my father was a football coach when I was born in Caldwell, Texas, but we moved to Houston when I was quite young. A rumor has it that one of the pastors on the staff at the Cross Point is a big Alabama football fan. Well, I once heard the story about the legendary coach Bear Bryant in Alabama, and he was talking to the number one high school quarterback in the state. And the story says that he handed him a football and he said, young man, can you pass this thing? And the boy looked troubled, looked at the football, looked at the coach, and he said, sir, I'm not sure I can swallow it. Well, we call that perspective or actually anthropologists, missiologists call it world view, how we view reality. As some of you may not know that we adopted two nine-year-old kids in Poland when we were missionaries there, a boy and a girl, twins. And we just had them a few months and we came back to Houston for furlough. And our kids did a whole school year in the Houston area. Well, the little boy was nine, I was going to public school, just immersing to learn English. And we'd only been here maybe a month and our oldest daughter, Celeste, came home from church with her youth camp list, just like we all had growing up. And she's reading her list to us, bring a Bible, bring a pen, bring paper, bring a towel, bring a one piece swimsuit. Well, our little Polish son's eyes got this big and in his broken English, he said, which piece? You see, he had grown up in a two-piece swimsuit world and he had joined a one-piece swimsuit family. And again, perspective. You see, a lot of times it is in difficult times that uh, we need to give balance. And some people would say it's inappropriate to, to laugh or to smile in such a time as crisis, but I would argue the opposite, that our world is looking for optimism, what the Bible calls faith, and for hope. In fact, many forget that actually Jesus was accused of being a partier. And again, rarely are Baptists accused of being partiers. In fact, I heard one Baptist say if Jesus were really a Baptist, he would have gone around turning wine into water. Uh, now again, I don't know if, if that is true. But in this time, I think of the growth that we have as believers and how we can come to such circumstances with a mature hope. I started wearing glasses when I was in third grade many years ago, but over the years, my glasses and contacts have changed and adjusted and have grown with me. And again, how is our vision today spiritually? Do we see the opportunities around us or do we simply see the difficulties? Now, again, my hope is with this light devotional to just challenge us to step back, to keep perspective, we take the gospel seriously, but we shouldn't take ourselves all that seriously. And my hope is even that song would come back to our minds, uh, turn your eyes upon Jesus and look full in his wonderful face. And the things of earth will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. May he give us all his perspective in these coming days. May God bless you until we meet again.